Taking a look at the Django documentation, the next step is going to be to install Django. So we've installed pip, we have our virtual environment, we've also activated our virtual environment as shown by these brackets here, and now we need to install Django. So the next question is, which version of Django do we want to install? Well, we can go over to djangoproject.com slash download, and uh, it recommends using the official latest version, which is 2.2.2, but you don't always necessarily wanna use the most recent version, and I'll show you why. If you scroll down a little bit, there's this chart here, and you have kind of all these Django versions um, all the way up to 2023, and you have this thing called LTS that's kind of attached to some of them. LTS means long-term support. So when it has LTS attached to it, you can see that the time frame extends a little longer, which means that that Django version is going to be supported for longer. And uh, conveniently for us, we're actually just past when 2.2 was released, and it's, it's a long-term support version. In my opinion, you always want to try and use the long-term support versions because you won't have to make changes very, very often. So like, for example, on codingwithmitch.com, I'm using 1.1.1 because I built my website uh, quite a few years ago. I can't remember exactly when, but um, it was I actually built it before 2017, but I upgraded to 1.11 because it's a long-term support version. So I won't have to do anything to Django until kind of a third of the way through 2020, and then I'll have to think about upgrading my Django. So we're, we're very lucky because right now 2.2 is just released and it's a long-term support version. So if you use 2.2, you know you're gonna be good until at least halfway or a third of the way through 2022. So that's why we're going to be using uh, the version that it recommends up here. So let's go into our virtual environment and I'm gonna write pip install Django double equal sign and I wanna write 2.2.2. And that's going to install that, uh, that newest version of Django. And uh, it's telling me that it's already satisfied because obviously I've tested this ahead of time. I've already built this project ahead of time. So it's saying the requirement is satisfied, but yours should automatically just start installing. Um, just to kind of give you a visual, I could just do pip uninstall Django. Uh, just to uninstall it on my system or on my virtual environment i'll click yes and then once it's uninstalled which it's done now now i will reinstall it and this is this is exactly what you're going to see so this what I, what's showing right now should be exactly what you're seeing it should take just a few seconds to probably install django it shouldn't take long so there we go we get that successfully installed django 2.2.2 message and if i was to open up the directory where my project is which is django projects coding with mitch blog course and i go into scripts you'll see that there's some new things that have been installed in here which is some some things with django attached to them don't worry about them for now just notice that they're in here because django has been installed now in the next video, I'm gonna create the first Django project and we'll actually start the server and run the server and make sure that it's working and it's running locally on your computer.